In this video, we'll show you how to find an example project to use as a starting point for your development. So with Microchip Studio installed, we can open the link to the start configurator. Now here you can see there's two entry points and we can create a new project. On the left, we can search for software components. On the right, we can filter by device or board. The difference for creating a project for the board versus for the MCU itself is that there will be board labels in the Pinmux configurator. Here, for example, we can see LED and switch as board labels on PC6 and PC7, respectively. The other entry point is example projects. The search filter searches the name and long description of the project. Category gives you a list of interesting technologies. And board gives you a list of projects created with that specific board in mind. You can open the user guides without opening the project. And here you'll always find a description of the example, any related app notes, supported evaluation kits, interface settings, and a list of steps to run the demo. Link below, you'll find the video and hands-on training Getting started, start config screens. Here we can see a video on the start example project browser. This will give you some tips and tricks on running the example projects. While the start dashboard video is a great one to begin with, to get an overview of the different components in start and how they're handled. So find an interesting example, open it, and explore its configuration in Atmel start. We'll catch you in the next one when we show you how to run a start project end-to-end -end in Microchip Studio.